I'm Nick Miles. We've rounded up the top news stories just for you today on the Fast Lane Car. Aston Martin launches the new Vantage. The all new Vantage has a bold new look, intensifies performance and dynamics, and is powered by a 4 litre, 503 horsepower twin turbo V8 engine. The maximum speed a mere 195 miles an hour, 0 to 60 in 3.6 seconds, with a host of new driving technologies that put Aston Martin on the top of the heap of high powered sports cars. New head and tail lights form a dramatic new signature. However, we'll have to wait until the end of summer 2018 for the first deliveries of this new Aston Martin. Infinity have teased pictures of the new QX50. So far it's just pictures of the front headlight and grille, but gives an idea of what the new CUV will look like. Infinity's new QX80 will also be at this year's LA Auto Show. Range Rover are going electric. The company has built up teases of electric vehicles with videos and models being shown at events around the world, but in LA they'll roll out plans for adding electrification to the brand. Mercedes-Benz have made no secret that LA will be the first time that we will see the new CLS class, finally replacing the old model that's been on sale for some time. Beyond that, we're expecting to see another EQ electrification sub-brand concept from Mercedes-Benz. They showed off the electrified GT at the New York show back in spring, and the company may announce production details of their first new EV into the US market. Mini has danced around with an electric version of their car for the last few years, and the final production vehicle will be shown at this LA order show. Mazda's going turbo, they'll be adding a turbo to the next generation of Mazda 6, and we've seen tease pictures of the new Jeep Wrangler, the final vehicle unveiled to the public in LA, and BMW showing off their new three-row full-size SUV, the X7. For continuing coverage of the LA Auto Show, go to thefastlanecar.com.